WESU is operating as a community service of Westland University and uh, we, we have a few stakeholders, uh, the listeners of course of the Connecticut River Valley and beyond now with the internet um, and the students of Westland University who for the first 60 or so years of our existence were pretty much the licensees and the operating staff of the radio station. One of our goals is to, is to serve all of the different stakeholders from the, the mission of the university to the needs of the local community and our community volunteer broadcasters who also uh, represent probably about a third of our staff as well. So for the last three decades, WESU has operated at a power of 1500 watts through our antenna on top of the Westland Science Tower and that enabled us to reach approximately 400,000 folks throughout the Connecticut River Valley. And a couple of years ago, the FCC opened up an opportunity to take new license applications, which meant that if WESU didn't apply to modify our power in some way, that we might get trumped by a new 88.1 popping up in another part of the state. So now we're looking at the WESU transmitter. It's a Harris 3.5K unit that's been in service since the 80s. And we were happy to learn when all of the final computation was done by our consulting engineers that we were going to actually be able to reach our full effective radiated power of 6,000 watts using our existing equipment. So this antenna is different style than our old rototiller uh, type of antenna. It's designed specifically to protect the station to our southwest WMNR that operates in the same frequency 88.1. One of the great things about th this quadrupling of our power is that we're now able to make it over the hump of Mount Higby and that is now enabling us to reach almost double a population of close to a million listeners in the Connecticut River Valley. The future of WESU is, is, I think, going to be an interesting one because I think we're at a point where we are now able to serve a much larger range of the population in Connecticut and even into southern Massachusetts throughout the Connecticut River Valley uh, that we need to make sure that we are broadcasting and, and, and setting out a signal that the university is, uh, that's in line with the university's mission.